tragic cases there of the deadly effects of sniffing or volatile substance abuse, to give it its proper title. One of the victims, Terry Stride, was 22 years old. The other, Rachel Wheatcroft, was just 14. This is a video briefing about solvent abuse. It's a subject that's had its fair share of media attention. And there are those who say it's being blown out of all proportion. But the fact remains that sniffing solvents of various kinds has killed over a thousand young people in the UK, which is more than Argentina and Britain lost between them in the Falklands War. More seriously still, unlike tobacco, alcohol or AIDS, solvents can and often do kill at once, first time. In fact, nearly 20% of those deaths I mentioned were young people who'd never done it before, first-timers who became last-timers. So it's certainly worth knowing how it's done, where it's done, what it's done with, the kind of damage it can do, and perhaps most important of all, why it's done. It used to make, make my head go funny, and I used to see, see things that weren't really there. And it used to make you go all dizzy and feel a bit sick sometimes, but not all the time. And they used to get this funny noise in your head, and I used to stop. You know, because the taste used to get horrible really strong. And that's all it did for me, really. <laughs>